give you information that will permit your return. If you do not have a place prepared for yourself, drive at least 50 miles from the target area. Civil Defense will instruct you there. Cooperate with Civil Defense workers and they will help you. Do not listen to rumors and above all, keep calm. Shit, I don't know how to start this. Well, if you clicked on the video, you're probably thinking to yourself, Connor finally posted something. Um, yeah, I know. It's uh, It's been way too long since I've actually pre uh, presented something to kind of to the community. Oh my god, Connor Cruz, he's back. He's finally doing something. Wow, it's amazing. Yes, and I'll have you know, that's actually Mr. Connor Cruz now. Uh, because I am, I'm a married man. Yes. No, no, no. Okay. Okay. Relax. So, I've uh, I've been away doing a couple things, and yes, I know it's been like <coughs> three months, but I've had something I've been playing around with for a little bit, and uh, a couple people that are a bit a bit closer to me personally probably have already seen a little bit of a teaser on this. There it is. That's the 500 DHTT. Um, the rotors are bigger than what you typically would see. There is actually the 8-port side right there, and here is the 12-port side. So there is actually the inside of the rotator cabinet for it. Let me go ahead and move the rotator motor out of the way. But there is the inside, so you've got two speed controllers. This speed controller over here dictates the pitch of the siren itself. And that speed controller way over there, that little tiny one, that is controlling the rotator speed. Got a little rotator motor right here. Slip ring, the end of the slip ring tube is right there. And then bull gear, pinion gear, and then going all the way up the uh, to the top of the siren with the, uh, the head. I do, I have the ability to, to test this, but there, <laughs> there's a bit of a problem. Of course, this is, not, this is not a final model of the siren. This is just a prototype. So there's some things that have to be worked out. Also, I will have you guys know that I might look a little steamy because it's like 90 degrees and like 70% something humidity. Either way, regardless. So the it does work. It does have its own problems though. Um, this is not actually USB powered as I had initially hoped. Um, so unfortunately, this does actually have a little wall warp power supply. So it does have a bit of a higher voltage to actually get this thing operational. The other downside for the problem that I'm currently dealing with with this is this one is actually dying. <laughs> it's a brand new model. I've only just now for kind of really put it together, but it is already dying. Um, the motor that's up in here that actually spins, that's for both of the choppers, is just struggling to get this thing um, up to the right pitch. And for whatever reason, either by brush wear or just the thing burning out internally, it's starting to have really, really bad pitch drifting issues. Um, but uh, it does work, so let's go ahead and shut up and actually just give it a quick little sound off. I don't even know what speed I actually have this thing set to. I do also actually have a meter this time. Wow, I know, planning ahead. This is a just a tiny little decibel meter. We'll go ahead and take a look at how loud it actually is right now. Um, I will say confidently that the 8-port side is actually distinctly louder than that of the 12-port side, probably just because it's getting more airflow more airflow through it um, for obvious reasons. That'll come out in the rotor video. All right, well, let's go ahead and give a brief little run-up. Make sure this is actually in the shot. I will note that it actually does have a pretty good wind down, and surprisingly, that run up didn't sound that bad. Um, I think my philosophy with this as to why it's kind of having this kind of pitch, drift, pitch drifting issue is I'm 
either the problem is that these this motor is actually getting hot inside of here because of, I'm running it over somewhat of a bit over what its its normal power supply um, recommendation kind of is. Um, this is it's rated for about five volts, and I'm sending it about seven and a half, which with a motor this small is actually kind of a big deal. What's more likely is that um, there's probably something wrong with just the speed controller getting too hot because these things are not really rated for a whole lot of current. Um, so brief run-ups is kind of what it's limited to currently. But that being said, the motor heating issue is something that I will have to face in the future um, before I really release these models, or specifically this one, because that is kind of a big concern for me. I don't really want to ship out a model that I know is going to be at least somewhat faulty. Um, I would like to ship out models that I know work relatively well <laughs> and are reliable. So that's just kind of where I'm at with it. But it is, uh, it is a lot of fun. You can adjust the pitch quite quite um, quite well like if I really wanted to I could set the pitch like super low or I could set the rotation speed like stupid fast like why don't we do that let me set my pitch really low as slow as the motor will go and we can set our rotation speed up like stupid high it looks so ridiculous Sounds kind of cool, though. I mean, of course the motor doesn't, but... Let's speed it back up a little bit. So yeah, I mean, fun to kind of play with so far, but it's just a prototype. Yeah, so that's kind of something that's kind of coming down the road. So, I guess one of the other things I would like to discuss is the shop and kind of what's going on with the Siren Shop, or at least the, the Etsy store. Because I've got a couple of people that keep uh, that keep messaging me on my store, my store page, basically like asking for different types of models and different sirens. Um, basically, to give you all a bit of a rundown of what's basically going on, is it is... With the kind of work that I perform, I am a um, I'm an HVAC service technician. I honestly really wish I was making some of this stuff. <laughs> hmm. Holy shit. So the since we're in the middle of summer, pretty much here, and especially being that it's in South Carolina, it gets busy. It gets so incredibly busy with my job that oftentimes I'm working well over 50 hours a week most times. So it's like. I'm, I'm working a lot during the day, so then when I come home, especially after out being being out in the, the heat and the sun, I don't necessarily have the energy to either go and sit down and like work on a model or something like that that I'm making, or record a video, which is why it's basically been just like radio silent for so long. But uh, but yeah, that's basically what's been going on. The heat is just slamming me with stuff to do, and. Um, I have a fan who's a, a fan of mine who's been watching for a while, um, but this is this is for you. This is specifically for Anakin. Um, I'm sorry for basically just not being able to be super communicative um, and to really, you know, you know, do like live streams and stuff like that. It's just because I don't have I don't have the time. I don't have the time. By the time I get home, I really just want to relax and not really work on doing anything. I do have a couple other ideas of stuff that I want to work on in the future, besides just uh, working out the bugs with this one, because I think this would be really, really cool to actually have as a, you know, just a bit more polished kind of model. And this is uh, this is technically like my first kind of foray into um, these dual shaft kind of sirens. Um, aside from another model I've made before, which was like the it was just a um, it was a castle castings model I made for my uh, my wife's uh, coworker, but this this model is kind of really more along the lines of something I really wanted to do with it. And yes, I am actually able to spin the whole thing by the by the rotator itself. I wouldn't recommend that, but I can. If you're not being super forceful, you can do it. And you're not going to destroy something. But 
Ah, ants. Why are ants? Why are ants feet guys? Why do they have to be feet guys? Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and kind of mess with this a little bit again. But yeah, it's a it's a it's a super cool model. Um, I really would like to to get them out at some point. Probably doing multiple colors too. Um, this one is just kind of just you know looking like the the model from Calhan, Colorado. Um, but I would like to do one of like some co other colors like white or something like that. Um, but yeah, it's super it's super cool. It's been a lot of fun. This 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 has got to be one of my favorite ones. Um, if not being still a bit of a plagued model, it has its issues, of course. Um, the pitch drift being one of the ones I really got to refine. But it is, uh, but yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a little update, guys. But uh, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please go ahead and uh, like and subscribe. You guys really don't have to do that kind of stuff, but it really does help me out a lot. It gets me your feedback, lets me know what you're all thinking.